What's good everybody? Welcome back to Life on Beagle Road. Yeah, I said back and uh, obviously that's because we haven't been here for a while. If you've been watching us for a little while then you know that I pretty much edit all of our videos and uh, I mean if you're just sort of tuning in and following along with us then you should probably know that I edit all of our videos. Uh, Courtney's gotten a lot better at shooting videos over the years but not really the greatest at editing and it's okay I don't expect her to do any editing. I like doing the editing. That said I haven't really been feeling that great lately. Uh, not been sick or anything. Not like sad or down just like my body was just kind of really weak and I felt run down on a regular basis uh, and I wasn't really really moving much at all. It's actually not really the norm for me and I felt that uh, I had to cut some things out of my day and unfortunately, you know, doing YouTube videos was one of those things. If I wasn't moving, what was I going to film me doing, right? Doing the laundry? That's pretty much. I tried to focus mainly on all the things I had to do here at the house and try to stay above water with what needed to be done. At the end of the day, when it came down to it, I just I just didn't have it in me anymore to run around and film something, uh, sit down and edit, uh, whatever. You know, I tried to just focus in on Courtney and the kids, and that meant no editing. So we're back at it, and I'm feeling uh, livelier, much better. I feel like maybe spring is here, and I got my step back. Like you know, everything else is going to get around this time. So. Here we go, and, and we're gonna start rocking and rolling again and get some stuff out to you. Before we do that, I wanted to prove to you that uh, I do get to those little things that Courtney always says that I probably won't get to. Not that she's wrong, because I do take a long time to get to those little things, but I do them, I do. So let's take a look at a couple. All right, we're gonna walk on down to the, uh, the chicken coop, because, you know, that's like the most notorious thing I haven't done yet, right? Was put on the, uh, the thing to be able to get in when you lock yourself in the coop. And what makes it funnier is that I locked myself in the coop and it backfired on me for not having done it. So yeah, that's the number one thing I took care of was getting that string on the coop. Hey, how are you doing girl? How you doing? You gonna check out the things that I've done, make sure I did them all right? Huh? Are you gonna check out all the stuff I did, make sure I did it okay? What do you think? You're the supervisor, Miss Magoo. You're the supervisor. Did I do a good job? All right, so it's kind of crude and it's not perfect, but it's on there. So let's check to see if it works. One thing I have noticed is that the door needs a little bit of adjusting. Now that it's been out here and the wood has expanded and contracted, uh, it's, it's pretty much leveled out with whatever's going on out here and it needs a tad bit of an adjustment because uh, it doesn't really close that well. That's kind of why everyone locked themselves in it to begin with, I think, is because you didn't think it was going to close and then that one time it got you, you were locked in there. So I also did the same thing over here only this one works a whole lot better i think i don't know if it's my construction if it's the door who knows but uh same deal there you go yeah i mean they're done right so it's working we're good with that everything's peachy keen in there before we leave the chicken coop i've got one more thing i did over here so for the longest time as i put this up there was a piece missing right here that I hadn't put on in terms of the trim. And because I didn't put it on, I couldn't get this last latch on because it's got a latch here and over there. So that way, you know, you don't have one corner falling down, right? Nobody wants a corner falling down. But now I've got a double latch and we're all good. No more corner popping down. Yay! Now I just gotta clean it all up and paint it again. Repaint, I guess. I still gotta put up the drains for the rain. Right now it just kinda comes down. I do have uh, this guy here which collects water and throws it all over there, which we usually have a rain bucket for. But uh, I wanna put 
a collection system in, which I've been talking about for a while. Buckets are here. I'll get to it. Just keep it on the list. It's not going anywhere. Keep it on the list. That's all I'm saying. Keep it on the list. All right, now I'm over here by the greenhouse, which is, you know, just here behind me. And there were some things in there that uh, I needed to take care of ASAP with the spring coming. And I was kind of dragging my feet a little bit, unfortunately. Sorry, Courtney, but it just kind of happened. But we had a tree fall on it uh, towards the middle of fall, end of fall. And it slammed into the greenhouse, which uh, you wouldn't even notice except for like a few minor scrapes uh, to the plastic, which I can use uh, this tape that I got from uh, Bootstrap Farmer. They just put it right on to the greenhouse plastic. It's like greenhouse plastic tape, specific for that, but I can just cover up that hole and we're all good, but almost no damage whatsoever. None. Wow. Cause this sucker was pretty thick. I mean, we're talking about six to eight inches thick uh, uh or by the pieces that actually fell you could see here on the fence where part of it had hit i mean it destroyed the fence i gotta fix the fence so add that to my list but uh the greenhouse no big deal as a matter of fact check out this table right here i mean holy cow it just literally smashed the wood in half so you gotta replace that too gotta fix that you know put it on my list Everybody ever feel like all the stuff on their list just starts to pile up, pile up, pile up until the point where you're, you know, just crippled by your own list? Ah, <sighs> hate that feeling. Hate it. Speaking of lists, this uh, situation here, that's our gate to get into the garden. That needs reconfigured. It ain't gonna work. I do want to kind of redo our gardening fence. This was put up very, very quickly with uh, not a lot of like, I don't know, prettiness, I guess you could say, because we just wanted to get the garden in and we wanted to get rolling. So now that it's in and we've been rolling and we're comfortable with everything in there, we know how things are gonna go, how they're gonna grow, what we're gonna get out of it. Now I wanna make it a little prettier. So hopefully I can get to that this, uh, this season, whether it be in the spring or maybe after the planting is done and we can get in here in the summertime, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think I should add to this? What do you think? Should I put an arbor, some fun fencing? I don't know. What do you think? Give me some ideas. Oh, not sure if I mentioned it or not, but the door to the greenhouse, that got smashed. It was bad. It was ugly. Luckily, none of the wood broke completely or split. So I did replace the uh, door. I also changed the orientation of the door. It was opening in, which meant that uh, we really couldn't use the space behind the door. So now it's gonna open out, which makes more sense, but you'll have to like prop the door if you're carrying things in and out. My theory behind opening in was that I could have stuff in my hands, walk in and like just use my bum to open the door. So won't be able to use my bum on the way in. I can use my bum on the way out, yeah. I also added some cleats to the inside of the door because my chillins love to push on the door in the wrong direction which means uh, it was gonna come off the hinges no matter what I did. That might have actually been what was wrong with the door to begin with, not the tree, it was probably my kids, if I had to guess. I mean, when in doubt, it's either the weather or the kids. Yeah, over here by the barn, I've got a couple things that I did, and one of the major things that I did was to install a, uh, a feeder bar thingy, like a, I don't know, smorgasbord bar, like, Cracker Barrel, or wait, Cracker Barrel doesn't have a bar. What would that be? The Golden Corral? I don't know. That rooster is really mad that I'm here. Like, really, really mad. It's Jay-Z. Jay-Z is our main rooster. The other one, I don't know if he has a name. He probably has a name. I don't know his name. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be Soup. His name should be Soup. So, why don't we just go with that? We've got Jay-Z and Soup. So, inside the pasture here, the, uh, the goats have been fighting with that drain pipe right there to the point where it was literally bent sideways, pieces were falling off, it came off the wall, whichever. So came out and uh, reinforced it with some extra screws and straps and whatever else. So here's a question for folks who mess with this, this stuff a lot. Um, so the people who installed it used screws and I just sort of used the same kind of screws. 
uh, with a neoprene washer just to make sure it was a little snugger. But is it uh, better to use rivets, like aluminum rivets? Should I, should I use those? Is there, is there something better than what I'm doing there? If there is, let me know. I'd love to know. Because, uh, you know, all you're doing is going into the metal, but like a rivet would squeeze it together, right? Theoretically, and that, that's how it works. It would be better. Let me know. I just kind of want to know. I'm not sure how many of you remember, but uh, this super green lush grass that's over here, at the end of the season, we burned everything down. We burned all the leaves, we burned the pasture itself, and then we, we replanted. And we were worried that nothing was gonna come back, but it looks amazing over here, amazing. We really didn't get to the entire pasture, we mainly just got to this area over here, but uh, it really paid off because the area we didn't do, which is over here, is horrific. So at least we know that uh, we can gain some ground doing it the way we did it. I know a lot of you had your doubts. I did as well, but we're good and all is well. Now, that said, I think this space over here is going to be a future expansion to our barn. Do you remember that milking room and hay stower? Hay stower? We don't really have a hay store right now, but we need one. And uh, it, it, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Over here, milking room, hay store, milking room, hay store. Woo, 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 woo. Something like that, I don't know. Can you tell that I'm in a much better mood and that uh, all's good in the hood? Cause it is. Hey baby girl, are you resting in the sun? I love when you're resting in the sun. You're so cute. Look at that little one, you see that little one? Hanging on the feeder, just chilling out right there. I don't have my zoom so I can't do it. Look who's coming to say hi, the queen of the herd it is the one the only stevie nicks hey baby girl how are you are you happy today are you a happy goat i won't get too close i know you don't like when i get close ladies i just wanted to come over and say hi so hi i hope all is well and everybody's feeling good just enjoy your little rest break okay yeah Later on, I'm going to have to burn those trees or chip them, so enjoy. Yeah, so I've just been taking care of a few odds and ends, trying to sort of get it together here on the homestead. Uh, our tractor was out of commission and the uh, four-wheeler had a hole in the tire, so all of those things have been taken care of and we are good to go, which is super helpful. So now it's just time to get back on the wagon and... Uh, start going wherever we're going and i hope you all come with me so have a great day and i'll see you on the next one bye